Hey everyone and welcome to or back to my channel. So today I'm back with a super exciting video. Today I'm gonna be cleaning out my closet. So I really need to do this. Last time I did this was before I actually moved into my apartment. So I did a big closet clean out before I moved. And honestly, it doesn't seem like that was that long ago, but I try to do this quarterly, so like every few months and it has been a few months. When I show you guys my closet, if you guys haven't watched any of my videos before, you might be a little shocked because my closet is kind of out of control. It's, uh, it's out of control. I just want to say as a little background, I did work at American Eagle for six years and you get a really crazy good employee discount. And each month you get a new discount and if you don't use it, you lose it. It's like, it's like they're really making you shop almost. And so I would always get stuff with my employee discount on American Eagle. I work with a lot of clothing brands. I just, my closet is on another level of crazy. It's like my closet is just overwhelmed. I can't even like scoot and move the clothes around. I have to like really like squeeze everything in there. I have a ridiculous amount of sweaters. I have stuff squeezed in all over the place. My coat closet is really full. I just have clothes everywhere. So today I'm going to be cleaning out my closet and I'm going to try to make this the best closet clean out I have ever done because my closet really needs it. Everything that I'm going to be getting rid of I will list on my Poshmark which I will have links below down in the description. My Poshmark is Emily Grace 266 is the closet um, but it's probably just easier if you click the link. With that being said I'm just going to get into the closet clean out. I just wanted to give you a little bit of background and I'm not going to ramble on forever because I tend to do that and as always coffee first. I actually got this vanilla sweet cream cold brew. A few of you guys suggested it when I did the Starbucks video. I was trying your guys' favorite Starbucks drinks. I tried it in that video and I thought I'd get this today. It's actually so good. Got my coffee and I'm ready to go. So let's clean out this closet. I'm going to start down here with all of my kind of just like random clothing and then this is kind of like all my neutrals i feel like that's gonna be hard because those are all like my favorite just like basic pieces i don't go for colors as often as i go for neutrals so i'm gonna start with that because i feel like it'll be easier to get rid of and kind of get the momentum going and then i'll move on to my neutral tops and then i'll move on to sweaters and then lastly hoodies I found a lot of stuff to get rid of. I kind of already pulled stuff aside prior to filming this video. As I'm going through stuff, trying to find stuff to wear, I'll kind of pull stuff out. And I had a growing pile before even filming this video. I actually have found a lot of stuff to get rid of. Like I have a huge, huge, huge pile on my bed. As I'm looking through this stuff, I'm just not finding anything else to get rid of, which I, like I said, I have a huge, huge pile on my bed. So it's not like I haven't found anything, but I'm just not finding anything else that's in this closet to get rid of, but I'm trying really hard. So I watched some closet cleanup videos on YouTube to kind of like motivate me so hopefully that will help truly i feel like i wear all of these which is kind of ridiculous to say because there's so many but i wear sweatshirts like every day i'm wearing one right now i wear them all the time all all of these are like my favorites this gray hoodie from princess polly I, it's just like a regular gray hoodie i wear it a lot um these tie-dye ones i wear all the time you've definitely seen me wear those solid green hawaii one i wear all the time this gray quarter zip i wear all the time the yosemite one i wear all the time that solid red one I wear all the time like literally all of these I wear all the time I really do feel like I wear any of these and once it's gone it's gone so I don't want to get rid of something that I do feel like I'm wearing just for the sake of getting rid of it and I did kind of 
declutter this a little bit because the bottom part of my rack, I actually got rid of quite a bit of stuff, so it was a lot better. And so I took some of the quarter zips and like non hoodies and moved them over there to make this a little bit better, but it's still not that much better. Like I just, and then the neutrals part of the top of my closet, I literally cannot find anything. Like I literally cannot like, Mm, it's so bad like I'm just gonna have to come back to it I'm probably just gonna get through this portion of the closet clean out today It is starting to get dark out and it's like the end of the day and I have a few other things I have to do I might just come back and finish this up another day Okay, so it's the next day. I'm going to finish the closet clean out today. I am excited to finish this up. I feel like I made a lot of progress yesterday. I have a lot of things that I'm getting rid of. There is still more to do that I want to kind of finish up today. I'm going to be a lot pickier with what I decide to keep. I'm going to try not to hold on to things just just because, you know, I have good memories attached to them. Oh, I might wear this someday. So I'm gonna try to like really think through like, have I worn this in the past year or so? Which with COVID, I feel like I can be a little bit more lenient because I feel like I'm really only wearing loungewear and casual, casual wear. I'm really gonna think through, have I worn this recently? Do I see myself wearing this in the future? Because I feel like my style has changed. Why am I keeping this? You know, it's just clothes, I can let it go. I would rather have the space than an article of clothing that I know I'm not gonna wear just because. I'm gonna try to wrap up my coat closet, my clothing rack, that is the plan. I'm just going to move on to my clothing rack. It was supposed to be like aesthetic and just put kind of like new seasonal pieces on there. Kind of cute and aesthetic and now I just use it for overflow and I just stuff all of my thick pieces on there that don't really fit in there. It is like literally so stuffed. So I'm gonna go through this. So this shirt, I really liked it when I first got it. I was like, oh, this is so cute, but it's kind of low. Like I kind of am not a fan of V-necks, but I do like the style of top. Like I feel like it is a flattering and it is kind of cute if you want like a basic top, but like something a little cuter. So I think I will keep it. And then this is just a cute like sage green top. This is just a nice beige t-shirt. This honestly, I might give to my sister because she loves this shirt and I obviously have not worn it yet. But every time I go to wear it, I end up not wearing it. I keep thinking I'm gonna wear it and then I end up not wearing it. This shirt I actually really, really love. I actually wear it a lot. Style of shirt I really like. I have it in white and I wear the white one all the time. So I thought I would wear the gray one all the time. But I just literally wear sweat shirts all the time. Like I never wear cute shirts. Same thing with this. Super cute. I wanted a little green cardigan like this forever. Just haven't worn it because sweatshirts and never leave my house. This is really cute. The sleeves are big and it's really cropped, but it's cute. I have a lot of cute pieces and I just never wear them because I never go anywhere. I'm telling you, like if I actually left my house, I would seriously wear all these things. This I love, this I love, this I love. And I know I'm not gonna get rid of the hoodies because we all know I wear those. Wear that, love that, just got it. Love those, love that, love that, love that, love that. I love everything on this clothing rack. That's why they're displayed because they're like my favorites. I'm literally getting nowhere. I'm so bad at doing this. I'm going to make myself get rid of two things on this clothing rack. I have had this for a while and I haven't worn it. I think I might try this on. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of it, but I think I'm going to try it on because I feel like it is kind of like it might kind of wash me out. This I am going to, I think I am going to get rid of it, but I'm not going to actually sell it. I'm just going to give it to my sister because she really likes this top. It's two things. Honestly, I feel like maybe this could go. I feel like I have other sweaters that I would maybe be more likely to wear. Well, I can scoot the hangers. So it is an improvement. I did get rid of three things and I do honestly really like everything on here. So now I'm going to go through my coat closet. I think I already showed you guys. It is just really, really stuffed. And there are definitely some coats in there that I'm not only really wearing. So I'm gonna go through it and try to find some coats to get rid of. Okay, so now that I've actually cleaned out my closet, I'm just going to go through all of this, which is basically everything that I pulled out of my closet. By the way, I just put my glasses on because I can't see my camera in the viewfinder to see if I'm focused and in the frame. It's literally all blur. So I'm just gonna go through all of this stuff and just kind of 
sort it and go through it again. These were maybe, so I might try these on and see if I wanna get rid of them. So if you see anything you like that I'm getting rid of, I'm probably going to be posting most of this on my Poshmark because a lot of it is new items or like maybe something that I wore once. I'm probably just gonna list it on my Poshmark. I think a lot of you guys would probably be interested in it. I just don't have the space for it. Honestly, a lot of this stuff is really cute and I like it. There's just other things that I like more and I feel like somebody else could be enjoying it more than I currently am. And I'd hate for something that's like cute and in style and perfectly fine to just be sitting there collecting dust. And some of this my sister might take. Most of this will probably end up on my Poshmark. So if you guys see anything you like, definitely check it out on my Poshmark. I do accept like really low offers because some of this was gifted to me, so I'm not trying to like make a profit or make money off of it. I'm just literally trying to get rid of it and have somebody else be enjoying it. I do send out like offers to all the people who have liked the items quite often. With that being said, I'm gonna sort through this. So I have this coat, it's from Princess Polly. It's really cute. I just have like a million puffer coats. I just have others that I'm that I gravitate more towards. And it's literally brand new, so I feel like somebody else could probably be enjoying this better. I'm looking at it now and I'm like, do I want to get rid of this? But honestly, it still has a tag on it. I obviously haven't worn it. It's been cold for months and I wear coats a lot, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And then I have this sweater, which I feel like my sister will probably want. I literally just got this pretty recently from American Eagle. Like I have other gray turtleneck sweaters that I'm more likely to wear. I literally debated this in past closet cleanouts and I should have just gotten rid of it. I literally spent $38 on this and I haven't worn it. It has a tag, so I feel like I need to wear this to justify spending the $38. I remember getting this and being so excited to wear this that I was like saving it for the right day. I think I'm just gonna sell this and let somebody else enjoy it. I feel like I just don't really wear these striped sweaters as much anymore. And I have this one, and I remember really liking it when I first got it. It's like this turtleneck. And these flannels, like I honestly, I used to wear American Eagle flannels all the time when I worked at American Eagle. Now that I don't work there, I feel like I don't really wear flannels as much. Honestly, I got this thinking it would be so cool and fun to style and kind of like a leather jacket, but like a vest and like really cool but I just don't think I can pull this off. So now I think I'm just gonna try on a few things. Also, don't mind my fake tan. Mm, this is like really soft, like really comfy and soft. Would I wear this? Would I wear this? I think I'm gonna keep this because this is actually really cute. Like it's tan and it's like perfectly oversized and it's also this really soft material. So I showed this in my thrifting video and I thought this was really cute but I just haven't worn it since I got it which was in October. And it is cute. I feel like on a Saturday afternoon where you just kind of want to be comfy and like laid back, I feel like it actually would be cute. And it's this really just like soft kind of material. I think this might have to be a key. So this shirt is really cute. I love this shirt. It's a faded gray plain t-shirt. But I got it like in a size too small. I wanted it to be more like oversized, like one of those really, really oversized t-shirts that you can wear with bike shorts but it's just like a fitted tee. I think I might get rid of it because every time I go to wear it, I'm like, oh, this is like too tight. Like this is not the style I'm going for. Okay, so a little update. I have basically just taken all my Poshmark listings and put them in a big pile. I only picked out a few things that I decided to keep. I went back through my closet and I do feel like there was some progress. <laughs> Honestly, it's not like a night and day difference. Like if you were to look at my closet now and look at it before, it doesn't really look significantly different. But I do feel like before it was like really, really packed in and now I can kind of like move the clothes around and I did get rid of quite a lot of clothes I feel like I'll probably do this again here in a couple months so I do feel like I accomplished something definitely check back and subscribe if you're not subscribed turn on the notification bell I do hope this video motivated you and inspired you to clean out your closet definitely thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these on my channel I'm gonna be doing a spring declutter with me type of video soon um, also check out this video if you want to see me deep cleaning my whole apartment yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely comment down below your best closet clean out tips because I could definitely use them in my next closet cleanup. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.